we're just basically circling all the way back around, huh? Alright. Stronger enemies. Well, a... Kind of a different... Like, type of encounter here. I'm gonna at least fall and star you guys. We can at least be a little bit effective as we take way too many hits on Flora. Too bad I can't, like, determine the attack order so I could, like, immediately do a Falling Star into a release. But release seems to always kind of go first. I guess not first compared to an attack, but, you know. Got some nice items, at least. I'm hoping not many rooms forward. I think a lot of our ability to continue through some of these, I'm going to try to escape. Okay, I'm not going to try to escape. Ooh, well that is very lovely, isn't it? Well, we'll either kill or allow these enemies to be released. Evasive ring is helping a little bit. <laughs> One will be released. Hey, friend. Friend. My bad. I don't think I'm getting the extra from defending when the battle's over. I keep doing it thinking I will, but I definitely... Oh, this is like zigzagging now. We're zigging and zagging. This is not going to let me escape, is it? Yeah. My hope... I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to hide. I, I'm not going to spend time dealing with the... Uh, the angel. I need to get rid of these rabbits. Gonna attack that one. Oh, I can't fall in star yet. Defend. I'm gonna see if I can kill, I guess. We're kinda weak right now. Thank you, child, for not wanting to attack. Let's hope that. We can deal with this. Good hit. Don't look at me. Kill it! Yeah. Hmm. I was really hoping you wouldn't do that. Well, actually, I mean, it worked out pretty well because we got a lot of our health back. There's really no problem with it. If there's no enemies around... Having the recovery items on and just letting that happen really helps out. It's not as good as probably having that honey pot heal you, but I never even actually got it to work. And I, the honey pot can attack, so it's not. That's not foolproof, but this dream angel doesn't seem like it can do anything else but that sleep thing. Not to mention, two other enemies will also fall asleep, so even if there's other enemies around. It doesn't seem like there's really anything bad about it. Probably my best bet as far as getting extra attacks off. Look at that little sheep flying around. Not getting extra att attacks by healing. This is not great. You are new. You scare me. I'm hiding. Where are you? I didn't even see what your name was. La la la, hear me sing. What life without music? That's frightening. What? I, 
dude, I don't know what to do with you. Dream Sea Pony. Let it sing. So, like, its weakness would be that it would want to sing. So, would it be something like I would have to come in here with, um... Maybe I have to come here with Rocky and use Howl to make it so it can't use its skill attack or whatever, and it'll have, like, a singing skill. Angel's Trumpet. So if I were to block that, oh, we're, that makes us go to sleep. But it didn't really seem to affect us too badly. Yeah, so if I had, um, level up, no skill, let me look. If I had, uh, I thought you would be closer to the end there. Stop its favorite songs. If I had Rocky and used Howl, it won't be able to do that attack, and that should probably be how you would deal with that. Dig spot that I can't do anything with. Enough reason to come this way with Rocky. I'm gonna try. Might be dangerous. Good miss. Good- wow. Is hiding actually a detriment? Flora's kind of getting better now. She still doesn't have... Actually... You has the uh, stamina ring on, right? Yeah, so her health is roughly close to what ours is. It's just her defense is very bad. Uh... 54... Wait, 54. Oh, wait, does the evasion one... That decreases defense. I forgot all about that. Yeah, let's up that defense. That should be fine. Like, that's actually super... I didn't realize how much that lowers your defense. Holy crap, man. Yeah, I mean, like, we'll still use hide. Just to keep that evasion up, but... We should be fine. And we got a new Paracel, so you know what? Flora, you're doing okay. Not great attack. Shady Dot at Paracel, perfect for hot days. Yeah, it was, I guess it was my fault that you were dying so much. I don't know if I like that sh uh, Paracel. You can, you can take hits a bit better now. Can actually dish them out a bit better, too. I mean, a boss fight will definitely use hide. Yeah, completely my fault. I mean, heck, I probably don't even need that defense ring. I could just put something else better on, too. A lot of dig spots here. Thank you. We could have definitely dealt with that, but I just didn't want to. Item in a shop. They definitely don't want to let you just heal easily, do they? Ooh. Thank you for letting me escape from that too. Uh, that also wouldn't have been too bad. Again, sleep can kind of be used to our advantage. It's all the same stuff. Uh, we have 10 of those. I think I'm going to grab four of these. I don't really need these ones either, but... Get the item and then we can only go up. I mean, you can't blame me for thinking that the I- who Thank you. The idea of- uh, for me thinking that the idea of Flora is that she is weak. Since her skill was high, so she doesn't take damage. 
Well, they're really just making her better now, huh? A dress adorned with many ribbons worn by nobles. Just got all of the boosts we need it. I'm wondering when we can use other party members if we are able to, um, or if we will get more skills. It's good. It's not really going to be effective. I am going to hide. We'll release these cloud fellas. Or release a cloud fella. Maybe we'll just kill it. Honestly. Or miss. Good waste of time. everyone go to sleep. Please stop. It's rude. That light attack is very scary looking for like a normal enemy. I also didn't really realize it because Flora had so much stuff on top of her already that she was um, still asleep. Good miss. Oop, didn't want to attack you twice, but it's not going to be a problem. Yeah, boy. So exciting. Protect. Jump in front of an ally to shield them from an attack. Wow. That would have been very useful early on when we were... <laughs> Dealing with Flora being level 3. That also would work really well with that chill armor, wouldn't it? I don't think I'm going to worry about that yet. It would be cool too if it still like counted as a guard, but I doubt it will. But where are we? This is a dead end. There's like nothing. Oh wait, there's an item up there. Or a shiny bit. Really? That doesn't falling star you? Come on. I just, I keep thinking the diagonal will be a bit more extreme than it is. I guess it, that shows me for thinking that the diagonal would be a very effective way to deal with enemies. Hey, hey yeah, Flora's doing it. I like Flora now. Flora's cool. Flora's actually doing really good damage too now. Something is written on the stone statue. Somehow you was able to read it. A question I ask of you. If you could only save one, who would you choose? Go left for your parents, right for village. Ooh, okay. For you, I think she would say save her village. But, I don't know, it's... And I don't actually know, how would you respond to that? Something's written on stone statues, somehow you was able to read it. Question I ask of you, are Marxists an evil that must be quelled? Go left for yes, right for no. No. Even if only one monster can be good, like, I, like... There's already a full town of good monsters, but if even if only one is able to be good, then there's not an evil one. Then, like, evil isn't... Monsters aren't purely evil, kind of thing. You was able to read it. 
I ask of you, are you prepared to face your heart's darkness? Go left for yes, right for no. But what's up? What's up, Doc? Let me bail. I choose my own path. I, hmm, I, I wonder. I wonder what up means if I choose my own path, because it was asking if I was ready to face it. And technically, I didn't really say yes, did I? Let me use this so I can hopefully kill the rabbits quick. Ow. I'm gonna have you hide right now, so hopefully you can be protected for a little bit. Good hiding. Yeah, that is pretty good damage still. You can stop. Hmm, that wasn't great damage. It didn't technically, like, say that your attack skill had a uh, split between stuff like magic and normal attacks. But I guess it's just a matter of the Falling Star probably just does a lot more damage and based on the fact that Flora's attack stat maybe isn't the greatest, it still is a significant amount in comparison to her normal attack. Ah, can we not? Thank you. That, that, that just didn't seem fun. I wonder if the answers I chose mattered at all. Fairy fruit. Well, I mean, you know what I would have to do. Pretty good job at dealing with most of these guys. No, not survey. I need to release. And we'll just smack this one around a little bit. Only one of them was kind enough to give me something. Rude. Looks like the next area is going to be where something might happen. Considering we had that questionnaire, I feel like there's a good chance the boss of the area might be here. Uh, I don't want to. Not again. Not again. Just have to do the same thing we did last time. Cool miss. No, 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 I need to. It seems like it would be quicker as far as dealing with two enemies here, especially since there's a chance we would miss. Since we can't really do a multi hit move now. Exactly the problem I was worried about. Of 
cool misses. Well, at least we got all of our energy back from this. Well, we, we finally got Flora to the level we were when we got here. Uh, let me save. Saving a new slot. Uh, yeah, I'm just missing some energy, but we basically have all our health, which is the best I can hope for. This seems like it would be awful if there was a random encounter here because we're basically at the location. I can't run, which is what makes me upset about the random encounter idea. Ugh, please. Thank you. We were right there, too. You and Flora had reached the end of their path. Is that a black fountain, I wonder? In front of them was a fountain as dark as the night. It emitted an ominous aura, unlike the warm, gentle aura of the pink fountain. I'm glad to see you two have made it thus far. Your trial is nearing its end. A voice resounded inside Yu's and Flora's heads. It's in? Is the trial now over? No, you still have more to face ahead of you. Oh, it's evil! Oh, it's like the princess, but evil. The surface of the fountain rippled from it, gushed a muddy black form which undulated and wriggled about before forming a familiar sight. That's... me? The black figure before them was the spinning image of Flora. Oh, look at those evil eyes! This is the darkness that lies within your heart. It is cowardice. Cowardice, this darkness weakens your heart. Your last trial is overcome it and cast out the darkness. Overcome my heart's weakness? Flora steeled herself as she glared at her other self. The black figure returned the gaze. Then, uh oh, Flora suddenly began trembling. No, you gotta fight the cowardness. I wonder if this would like remove her having the hide ability once we finish this. Like she's not afraid anymore. No, you gotta... Don't be afraid. Flora, what's wrong? You rushed to Flora's side. Oh, how awful. The Demon King. He's attacking our kingdom. Everyone is... Fear having taken over her. Flora crouches. Flora is being assaulted by her heart's weakness. She must conquer it, lest she be consumed by it. Flora trembled quietly, her heart seemingly already broken by the despair. No, Flora, you can't! Flora's nightmare played out from the depths of her heart. The luscious gardens and streams were being destroyed, her father and his loyal servants succumbing to the monsters. The princess was powerless to stop them. I'm so useless. I can only cower in fear. Uh, it's right, that voice. It's all right. Everything's okay, Flora. It's all right? What is... Because I'll defeat the Demon King. The nightmare loosened its grip on Flora's heart. You? How can you say such a thing? <laughs> because I'm the hero's daughter. Flora could not believe that a child would be capable of defeating the Demon King. However, inspired by Yu's brimming confidence, courage began welling up inside Flora. Look at her so confident now. Of course, we only have to defeat the Demon King. Flora stood up slowly, turning and pointing to toward her shadow as she shouted. That is why I will not lose to a mere forgery before then. With Yu's help, Flora had conquered her heart's weakness and could now confront her shadow. Well, what? Her shadow is only going to use hide, right? Like, come on. It's going to be pretty easy. Uh, I'm not going to bother with surveying. It never works. Oh, look, her, her name is Flora. Uh, I am going to hide like a coward, though.
Drift Ice. That's upsetting. And hurt a lot. See how well Falling Star does, and then we might have to just defend. Not great. I mean, I don't know really if it's great. I guess not knowing the exact uh, HP makes it unclear. I feel like Falling Star has to be the better option between attacking normally, though. Actually, right now, healing might be the best option. We'll defend, and I'm gonna try, since we have one more turn of... Uh, Evasiveness. And then we'll go back to hiding. This actually seems like kind of a rough fight. Good miss, though. I don't know, maybe I should actually be at a higher level. Chase. Flora's dazed and can't move and takes... Okay, well, good thing you have that evasiveness. Oh, I should probably have actually tried for Protect, now that I have that option. But she'll, she is uh, fine right now. If she used Chase on uh, you, that might be an issue. Let's just do a normal attack, because I'm going to have to hide the next turn. Magma Droplet. Bit extreme. Um... Yeah, I'm going to heal first. You get your hiding on. Flora, why is your shadow so much stronger? I mean, she's hiding though, so I would hope that maybe she can avoid an attack. I don't want to waste a turn protecting. I'm gonna use another healing on you. Dark Notebook, ugh. Flora is hiding to avoid attacks. And I'll try. Falling is guaranteed to hit, actually. I don't think Flame Slash is guaranteed to hit, so this might be a mistake. But I'm gonna make the mistake and hope for the best. I really shouldn't have fallen starred though. Great. I wonder if. Ooh. I don't have my evasiveness. Alright, well, that worked. Protect was good. Uh, you don't have your... Um, you don't have your evasiveness anymore. The Dark Notebook was what I was going to say. Death Cap, Poison? Ooh. How long does Poison last? Is it forever? Seems like it's a forever skill. I'm hiding, right? We'll just have to use our healing items on you whenever we get a chance. Yeah, like right now. Uh, nope, don't defend. Right, like right now would be a good time. I don't think I... Ugh, dark Notebook. Couldn't at least let me get off my flame. 
Man, your evasiveness seems a lot better than mine was. Let me look real quick, actually. Do I have any items to heal poison? I don't think I bought any. I, I just don't know how useful it really would be. I also think that's what she's doing, is she's using items, technically. So, uh... Alright, we'll defend so we can get more of that. Falling Star. Let's actually heal you up a little bit. And have you defend, because you need to hide again. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be protecting now. Which is fine by me, honestly, because the, uh... That means the thing is gone. I'm gonna hide and then have to heal you up. I don't really have to heal you up. I don't even know how much poison damage is actually doing. I definitely need to heal you up a little bit. <laughs> I'm glad I had these items. Yeah, because Drift Ice was an item you could pick up. Awesome. Okay, well now I'm in a bit of a pickle. I don't have like a better one, right? Probably should use one of these. I'm actually in a really bad spot right now. Alright, I'm glad you went for that, actually. Okay, let's just try to uh, re-evaluate everything. We're gonna Angel Cure twice. Oh, wow, I really only needed to do that once, huh? Okay. Well, that Angel Cure is a very nice item. I don't remember where I picked that up from completely. Mimics, I think, dropped them. Uh, you are doing that right now. What can I... Can an item be used to... I don't know if an item can miss, because technically her things haven't. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, Chase is obvious. The time you use Chase, it, it, like, the time she does it, it seems very much like it was made specifically so you can protect the next turn. Because you still have the, uh, weakness of... Not the weakness, but you still have the evasiveness on. So there's no real reason to attack Stardust, uh-oh. Hopefully you're almost dead. Thank God. <laughs> that was a lot of items I had to use. Level up. Who? Who knew your darkness was so tough? Who? Yeah. We, we did it. Yeah, we won, Flora. They have successfully defeated Flora's other self. The pink glow had returned to the sinister-looking fountain as Flora's shadow dissipated. An excellent display, Flora. You have now passed the fountain's trial. Once again, the fountain spirit's voice echoed in the girl's mind. As promised, I shall help fulfill your wish. <gasps> Is that the other bit of the blade? Before their excitement got the better to them, of them, I don't, I can't read now. A fragment of some sort rose from the fountain, glowing a bright pink at the same time. Y you, your pocket is glowing. Something shimmered from within Yu's toolbox. As she reached to take it out, Papa's sword, it's so shiny. This is the other half of the hero's sword. 
It shall now be returned to you, his daughter. Now please present your sword. When you held out the sword towards the fragment, the two pieces emitted a blinding light. When it faded, you held a completed sword in her hand. Wow! Oh, I thought she was going to say it now. Papa's sword, it's fixed! The sword was heavier in Yu's hand than her stick. The power it emitted coursing through her. It felt like she could take on the world. One day, the sword shall prove its worth. This is the fountain's blessing. To return home, leap into the fountain once more. May the fountain's blessing be upon you and your companions on your journey hence. With that, the fountain spirit was silent. So you really are the hero's daughter. Huh? You didn't believe me? One could easily have lied to gain someone's trust. But I was nonetheless saved thanks to you. Not to mention that my wish was granted. But it feels more like my wish was granted. In having my sword fixed. I feel like I stole your wish. You was distraught, but Flora reassured her. That's not true. I believed when you said you would defeat the Demon King. For me, just meeting you means my wish was granted. Encouraged by Flora's words, you gazed down at her reconstructed sword, strengthening her resolve in defeating the Demon King. Well, guess we should head back then. With an energetic, ready, set, go, the two girls leapt into the fountain together. <laughs> right, I forgot about the guard. Back in their own world, you and Flora spotted a soldier who seemed flustered at their return. Ah, uh, princess Flora! Seeing her, the soldier rushed over to Flora, crying all the way. Flora explained that, thanks to Yu's assistance, she was able to accomplish her goal. The soldier bowed repeatedly as he thanked you. Flora didn't want to leave so soon after returning, but she was dragged away reluctantly by the soldier, saying they were needed back in the kingdom. Ah, there they go. We didn't get to say our goodbyes. Oh, it's this late already? I've gotta get home. You made haste to the monster village where she rejoined with the Dragon King and returned to their mountain den. Yo, but let me look at that sword, though. Oh, I have it on already. A well-weighed sword that used Papa used previously. Best attack stat, but doesn't boost uh, speed or anything. But, I mean, it's the hero sword. I mean, come on. Scrapbook. It's probably just the main quest. Tomorrow we'll probably have a bit more bonus. I've seen a lot of enemies, but then I see a lot more. Uh, yo, check it out. Welcome back, Miss Yu, the Fountain World. I've only heard rumors about it. You must be quite brave to go to such a place. Yeah, I'm pretty cool. The Fountain World. I'd like to see it one day. Nope, not allowed. Only me. Did you say Fountain World? That sounds like a fun challenge. Okay. You're cool. You can come with me. Be careful where you go. Wouldn't want to worry his majesty. I got the hero sword. Who cares? What was it called again? Is it just hero sword? Yeah. Okay. I wanted to make sure it wasn't like a special name. A fancy name. I feel like it's probably the best weapon we can have. Is it time for bed? I'm going to sleep. Good night. Yo, you won't believe the stuff I went through, Dragon King. Again, you rambled about her excursions that day. Even the Dragon King found her story hard to believe. However, having lost sight of her at the fountain and seeing the hero's sword back in one piece, he accepted her tale for the time being. Like, come on. Where else would she have found that? You wasn't the type to lie anyway. Yeah, she's not the type to lie, so why are you... Come on, Dragon King, come on. You certainly had an eventful day, you. Yep, you replied with a triumphant nod. Oh, and Dad, I made a promise with my new friend. Did you? And what would that be? The Dragon King kindly asked. Well, 
that I'm going to defeat the Demon King. That's right. You will become a great hero by defeating the Demon King. That's why you've been training so hard. The Dragon King spoke gently, then slowly closed his eyes. Yep, <laughs> well that actually made me wonder. Where is the Demon King right now? Do you know, Dad? I have heard rumblings of where he might be. It will take some time, but I will look into it. Yay, thanks a bunch. Ah, I'm getting nervous. I wonder if I'll really be able to defeat him. I know you will, you. I know. Don't you look at that Sky Dragon King, I swear if you do. Ah, oh, he's doing it. Wait, he's not, though? I was wrong. Later, after you had drifted off to sleep, the Dragon King was in his secret hideout at the foot of the mountain. Well, I want to find that. Here, one could hear not a snore from the monsters, only the chirping of insects echoing over them. I wonder if that's past the uh, gust, maybe. Oh, is that the hero's grave? Hero, it's been some time since you entrusted you to me. What a strange thing, leaving your child with the Demon King. But you've never been one for the ordinary, have you? He spoke to the grave he made for the hero. You told me back then to raise the child well. He reminisced quietly in memories with the hero. Finally, my promise will be fulfilled. The day fast approached where you will defeat the Demon King and become a great hero herself. That is all for today. The Dragon King turned, ready to depart. Not ready to leave just yet, the Dragon King called out into the night sky. Are you here, Arthur? Yes, Your Majesty. Arthur left after receiving his orders. Then the Dragon King flapped his wings and took off, disappearing into the night.